Welcome back to another episode of Caps Off by the Game Day. Mm-hmm. Happy, yeah. Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. Cappy Day. Cappyteria Day. Ooh. Caps Off Cappyteria Day. We it's got some day, games, always. baby. We love games, bro. Games. You ever watch games with names? You ever watch Game of Thrones? Nah. Uh-huh. Hell no. Nah. I was going to say nerd. Julian Edelman's podcast. Dude, you're a fucking nerd. You're a fucking bitch. Nerd. Yeah. And? You're right. I'm a nerd. <laughs> no, games with names is Julian Edelman's podcast. It's oh, that's good. what it's called. It's I like a good Julian one. I, I, like I like that They're podcast. They have really good guests on. Yeah, too. they does. He gets all his, his homies from from uh, the Pats and shit. The Pats and shit. And the comedians Shh. and shit. Yeah, Shout he, out. He used to work with Sam Marill, who's that's like right. stand up comic. Not anymore though. No, I think he couldn't do it anymore. But the two of them started it together. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, then now Julian just does it by himself. Hey, hey, shout but out shout out to the Jews, no? Yeah. Oh, Jews. Sam Marill too. Leanne. Remember the trial? Oh, Jews, dude. Jews Leon. That's what it is. Some people sleep. Fleabay doesn't. Oh, oh no. That's, no. that's, no. The, fun, no. that's no. the fun no. part yeah. about uh, being <laughs> able to uh, get some rest is that some people do. Mm-hmm. Fleabay doesn't. That's right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's different up in this Oh, man. I'm tired. I could use that rest. You know what I'm saying? Same. No. No. no you no, wouldn't. Same, You're same. right. You don't. Dude, you know, we got right? some comments yesterday on uh, on the episode, on the, the recaps episode about, they were like, what the fuck is going on in your office? That you guys are fucking bundled up like you're in an igloo. Like. Oh, it was 22 degrees in the office. It was, was 35 it? degrees in the office. Yeah. Was Same. It, I don't even think it was that cold, but nah. it was it was probably like fifty. It was degrees, cold, like bro. Maybe it was 60. cold as shit in here. Yeah, it was cold. Yeah, it, it was, was. It almost started snowing. Remember? Uh, oh, in the office. In the office. In, in, inside. Yeah. <laughs> the precipitation. The weather from all outside this fit. is. The weather Frightful. inside is. Frightful. Cold. Cold. All right. Should we play some cappy games? Let's get cappy it. Games. How yeah. many games do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Um, I have a game. Are you? Show. I have a guessing a top ten list. Losing it. Uh, playoff top ten list. Um, playoff top ten list. Yeah, I like a top that. ten list Justin of the playoffs. Games. Yep. What mm. do you have? Let's go, bro. I have another uh, top fifteen list of the playoffs. Oh, nice. Is it guessing or is it a ranking? Oh, it's a ranking. It's I'm ranking something that I know Felipe is going to disagree with. It was actually a lot harder than I thought. I want to. Mm. And then I saw something on Twitter that I think we should have a conversation about. No, I think it's very interesting. Rather not. It's very interesting. Sweet. Mm. All right, we'll do it. What do you have? I have uh, you guys here with me. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, you do. You want me to romantic. start? Yeah. Let's go. Should I start? All right, I got a game. You're going to guess the top 10. Can you name the top 10 active players with the most postseason touchdowns? So, it doesn't have to be on their current Active team. players. They do not have to currently be in the playoffs. Okay. Just That's active right. players with the most postseason touchdowns. That includes mm. quarterbacks, passing touchdowns? No, scoring, getting in the end zone. Oh, no, no passing touchdowns. No passing mm. touchdowns. Getting in the end zone. Mm. Okay. Mm. I would say number one is a layup. A layup? What about number two or three? The rest are not all layups, but the I would say number one is a layup. <sighs> Think about layups. Think about the playoffs. Do you want to start? No, you start. My boy Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is number five. He's yeah. got seven touchdowns in 15 games played. Uh, Travis <laughs> Kelsey. Travis Kelsey's number one. That's the layup. He has 18 touchdowns in 20 games Ooh, played. Active. Number two is not even close to the 18. Like, there's mm, a huge drop-off. Word. Yeah, I like this one. Yay, yeah. Christian McCaffrey. No, Christian McCaffrey's not there. Yeah, Hell cause, no. uh, yeah, because Carolina. I forgot. Relax, huh. relax, relax. I forgot what that the game is. Can terrible. you? Relax? That was terrible. <laughs> Can you tell me what the game is again? I forgot. Already. Active players with the most postseason touchdowns. Active players with the most. Okay, so they got to be people who have gotten in the end zone, rushing or receiving. Ooh, I got an interesting. Stephon one. Diggs. Uh, Stephon Diggs is not there. Oh, not man. in the top Ooh. ten. Nuh-uh. Ooh. Mm-mm. Ooh. Mm-mm. Mm. Active players with a, with a, with a touchdown. Give me. This is a weird one. Mike Evans, not there. Mm. Mike Evans has not been too. in the playoffs mm. enough. It seems. Mm. That's interesting. This is gonna be. This is a hard list. A I'll, I'll be totally harder. honest. But it, there's some very interesting names there. So like, it's just at, okay. So okay, okay. We're we're forgetting. We're we're just satellite radio. Okay, here we go. Um, here, we go. here we go. Ready? Here we go. What did Tyreek Hill have? How many? He yeah. was five. Uh, number five, he had seven touchdowns, but seven. In, in 15 games played. God damn. Ooh. Okay, you got to go around kind of like. Yeah, now, like, I, a bit. I feel like I've been thinking about the playoffs, and now I got to think the whole league. And mm-hmm. my brain is not calibrated for the whole league. Jamar right Chase. Not there. What? I don't know. You, you gave me think shit. Think about for older the CMC. guys. Think about guys who have been in the league for a while. Okay, Jamar's been on a better team than CMC, bro. That's it's true. Factual. But think about guys who have been but in the league for a while. Jamar's only been in the league for two help years. CMC's been on the Niners. Two years? Right, right, right. Yeah, right. but never made the playoffs with the Panthers. Old heads. <laughs> good point. It's good point. Boys, you only got point. two. You only got two of them so far. Come on. Oh, God. Ooh, kill him. Yeah. Yeet. What? Don't know. Dude, relax, man. <laughs> this guy's off a of perk right now, dude. Mm, always. 
I'm actually struggling. I'll be honest to think of like players, really? active players. Oh, I have one. He's got one. Go. Let it rip. Tyler Lockett. <gasps> no, Ooh, not Tyler Lockett. That was a good one. Oh, no. All right. That, okay. Can I give you some hints? Yeah. No, 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 no. No. Older. Think of, there are two guys who are older wide receivers who were like pretty consistently throughout their career in the top five, like for like the last 10 and top plus. five. Julio Jones. Julio Jones is there. Number, oh, number six. He has seven touchdowns in 11 games played. See, Good he never screwed fucking Julio bro. Jones. That was be, one of them. I'm just going to be Felipe's hype man. There's another guy who Ooh. is also yeah. like pretty consistently been in the top five wide receivers in the league throughout his career. Ooh. Pretty consistent. Ooh, it's a Odell weird way Beckham. to talk about. Not Odell. No. I was going to say it's a weird way to talk about Adam Thielen, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, w- I was going to get Adam, but. Uh, <laughs> no. On the Vikes. Who else has been in the top five? Mm. Mm. Active? Is Antonio Brown still active? No. Because he would be like number two no, on no, that list. Low key, Keenan Allen? Not, not Keenan Allen, no. Why? Why? I feel like the Chargers would maybe like a wild card really. team. Yeah. I feel like the Chargers, he's been in the league for a yeah, minute. Yeah. It's not a bad one. Come on, it was like a locket guess. It's not terrible. Bro. Mm. Not I like it. They make the playoffs. <laughs> All right, anyway. Okay, any who's old. Think about quarterbacks who have also thrown to good receivers. and Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup is number four. That's not who I was even thinking That's of. That's crazy because he only but had like Cooper a Cooper Cup is number runs. four with seven touchdowns in seven games played. That's wow. my boy, in the bro. That's, that's my boy. Felipe is yeah, or Cooper is? No, Felipe, me, fuck me, Cooper obviously. Cup. Yeah. He's a product of the system. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'm just going to be your hype man, bro. I oh, can't. oh, oh, oh! Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas. Not Michael Thomas. Oh. Not Michael Thomas. Not there. What is this I'll give guess? you another hint. There are two running backs on this okay. list. We haven't guessed the running. Well, you guessed Bro, McCaffrey, but my brain is foggy. Oh, oh, Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott. Not Zeke. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm wow. Sorry. Fuck, 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 fuck. Man, it doesn't matter to me. I can't shit. think of like veteran wide receivers right now that have been in the league for a minute. Like who else was in that top? What five? other running backs though? Who else? What receivers are in the top five? Yeah, I can't. Uh, I guess that. Ooh, who else? <laughs> AJ AJ Green. Ooh, not AJ Green. Ooh, I don't think uh, AJ Green's at. Is he active? Uh, I don't know. The other one, AJ Brown. No. Well, because the Titans made the playoffs. Wow, this, <laughs> this is, is terrible. this is a hard one. This I'm is, sorry, this is a hard one. Do you? I mm. can I give you a hint? Sure, because everyone is going to George Kittle. <gasps> not George Kittle. Oh god, no other tight end on this list. Debo Samuel. Debo, not Debo. This is stupid. Okay, all right. Let's let's just. Oh, DeAndre Hopkins. Not oh. D Hop. No. Fucking horse. Not D-Hop. Bro, why are you fucking uh, horse? But his name starts with a D. Dick. Cheney. Darnell Mooney. <laughs> <laughs> no. Consistently, pretty much consistently been a top five receiver. That was D-Hop. For a while. Dorian Finney-Smith. No. It's me. Adam. Con- Con- S- Adam. Sebastian. D. Uh, Dante Wicks. Yeah, Devontae great, Adams. Devontae, Devontae Adams. Adams. That is a great hit. Oh, he bro. said, it's you to bro. Adam. Devontae I Adams. Bro. Adams. Number That's the guy three. You're talking about. Number top three. Five. Top five guy for most of his career. Yeah. Been around for a while. He has eight touchdowns bro, and 11 games played. If only played my brain was a brain. Leonard Fournette. Oh. Not Leonard Fournette. You spicy little nugget. It's not a bad one. Oh, I'm sorry. Derrick Henry. There Henry. is one other tight end. Not Derrick Henry. There is one other tight what end. What the fuck? And there are two running backs. And a wide receiver. You've gotten five. You need five. Oh my Jesus, we've only <laughs> gotten five. This is hard. This is a hard list. All right, all right, all right, all right. Remind all right. people what we're talking about here. because We are like still talking about if you can name the top 10 active players with the most Jimmy Graham. touchdowns. Not Jimmy Graham. That, that's my, a good pull. Felipe, let me take a, a second pull. to just say that was a fantastic pull. Thank you. I thought you had it. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh. I, that's why I got excited. That's why I said it so loud. Whoo. That's a good one. That was a real good one. Kamara. Not Alvin Kamara. What the That's also a fuck? Good guess. All right, all right, here we go. There is a quarterback on this list. What? Lamar Jackson. Not Lamar oh, Jackson. Oh, Cam Newton. Oh, he's not active. Nope. What the fuck? Don't overthink it. I'm overthinking Jalen Hurts. Nope. What the fuck? You're right Josh there. Allen. Josh Allen. Okay, okay, okay. Josh Allen has six touchdowns and go. 10 games played. I'll be honest. Every time I feel like we've go, we go three minutes into this video, I forget what we're talking about. <laughs> there are two <laughs> other. You're, cold. you're off of perk. I'll give you I another hint. You. Josh Allen, you just got Josh Allen. There are two other Bills Dawson on Knox. this list. Da- Dawson Knox, also six touchdowns in 10 games played at number That's nine. A, what the impressive. fuck? Yeah, and you were talking shit on Dawson Knox. And there's Knox one yesterday. other Bill on this list. Bill Nye, the said science, Stephon guy. Diggs, and that was not correct. 
Gabe Davis, because he had that four touchdown, five Gabe touchdown game. Gabe Davis has six touchdowns <laughs> in seven games played. They all came in at one game, he bro. He comes in at the number seven That's slot. crazy. Wait, I'm going to take another second to congratulate you on these amazing pulls you've been having. You really do pull, I mean, he's my been friend. breaking it down. He said, Bills, who else on the Bills? So, um, I, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm really, this is, this God, is what I'm, All right. How many more? You need number two and number 10. Ooh. Both of them are running backs. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. These I got it. These are a little hard. I got it. I got it. No, you don't. They've both been in the league for a little while. James Conner. Kareem Hunt, number 10. Oh. He has six touchdowns in four games played. What are you going to do to me after this game? Bro, I'm going to wait and see. Who is number two? It's a running back. I, I, I'll be honest. I liked the James Conner poll, but you didn't. It's okay. Who is number two? It's a running well, back. at the same time as Kareem Hunt, uh, unfortunately. This running back also has dreads. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, doesn't help you that much. <laughs> There's a lot of running backs with treads. Oh, <laughs> Alexander so Madison, much. imagine. Uh, and you already said Derrick Henry. It's not Derrick Henry. The other guy? Dalvin Cook? No. Mm. The other guy. Well, you said Alexander Madison. <laughs> Chris <here>. Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? Uh, but we said Derrick Henry. We said Alvin Kamara. We said Derrick uh, Henry. We saw Alvin Kamara. We said Derrick Henry. Bro. I'll give you another hint. No, no, no. No, that's a little bit far fetched. He played with Todd Gurley. Is he active? No. Another player on this list. He played with another player on this list. Ronald Jones. No. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. Bang! Number two has eight touchdowns. He's actually sorry. He's tied with Devontae Adams for eight touchdowns in the two that's and three wild. spot. But he has eight touchdowns in seven. That was games. a tough game. All right, that was that was that's wild. That was a hard game. So the full list, by that's the way, wild. of the most of the. 10 active players with the most playoff touchdowns is Travis Kelsey, number one, mm -hmm. Aaron Jones, number two, mm -hmm. Devontae Adams, number three, Cooper mm -hmm. Cup, number four, uh, number five, Tyree Kill, number six, Julio Jones, number seven, Gabe Davis, number eight, Josh Allen, number nine, Dawson Knox, and number 10, Kareem Hunt. It's crazy. There are some, some of the people. Yeah, there's people some, people it's crazy. List. There are some people on this list that, because you're so, I, I feel like our brains are so stuck in what's going on in the playoffs, or at least what's been in the playoffs the last couple of years, and there's mm -hmm. some guys on there that, like, you just forget about. Yeah. Facts. Exactly. The fact that D-Hop's not there is Pretty yeah, man. Uh, you gotta play enough and, and score enough. Hey, good game though. Thanks, stumped man. us. Uh -huh. I liked it. Not my friend Felipe though. You can't stump him. No, I never would. Ball nowhere, Lippa. <laughs> Doesn't sleep. Okay, Lippa. Lippa. Okay, so I saw this on Twitter. Lippa. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. And I'm gonna shout him out quickly. But I saw this. I thought this saw this conversation on Twitter. This is from Powell Analytics, Dylan Powell. Nice. Um, Powell. And he pretty much said to start your franchise with any of these three wide receivers. Okay, these rookie wide receivers. Oh, I saw this too. See me. You saw this. Yeah, yeah, so, but I didn't, I didn't so the question is, you're starting an NFL team from scratch and get to pick any three of these rookie wide receivers to build the team around. Who are you choosing and why? Your wide receiver choices are Puka Nakua, mm. Rasheed Rice, mm. Jordan Addison, mm. Zay Flowers, mm. Tank Dell, and Jaden Reed. Why, where's my boy JSN? JSN's not on there. You're a hater. You're a hater, Brandon Powell. Okay. <laughs> So this comes from the NFL, obviously, who also tweeted out like this picture of these six rookie wide receivers. So one more time, one more blame time. Blame it on the NFL for not including JSN, but JSN is an honorable mention. Your six wide receivers are Puka, Rasheed Rice, Jordan Addison, Zay Flowers, Jaden Reed, and Tank Dell. So I'm, yeah. I'm just curious. I was, I, I was want trying Puka to figure. Tank Dell off the rip. I think we're all p picking Puka, just a physical wide receiver, a guy, a good mm. locker room guy. Just yeah. like, how do you not want that smile on your team? Right, you know, right. right. I, I agree with that actually. And like a LeBron super fan. You yeah. want that. You want yeah. that on your team. Sure. Next up, yeah. I think, is 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 a toss-up. I think I After want Tank Puka, Dell. I want Tank Dell. I really like Tank. I really like Zay, though, too. I know, I know you, you like do. Zay. You literally, yeah. Yeah. I, I, and I like what Rasheed's been able to do. Rasheed is a, a physical specimen who was coming out of college, and a lot of people said he was too raw. And he's been fucking good. He's I mean, also he, underratedly, like, oh, he's a big guy. He's like 6'2". That's like a good size for a wide receiver. A lot of these wide receivers... Zay, Jaden Reed, and Tank Dell are all like 5'10 and below. Yeah, they're 5'11 and below. They're so they're small guys. guys. I mean, that's what Even Jordan he's... Addison, when I stood next to him at the draft, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, he's not guy. that big. I will say, though, jo Jordan Addison was able to do as the one when JJ was out, when yeah, Jenna was, was out. He was nice. It could not be, cannot be understated. Like, could, we, we definitely should not. Overlooked. Overlooked, yes. That's the word. Mm hmm. Brain's not working. Yep. I'm personally, out of this list, I'm going to go too. to compliment. I'm going to go Puka, Rasheed Rice, and Zay Flowers. I like Puka as a, as a physical guy. I like uh, Rashi as someone that could potentially go up and get it, as someone that can be a little bit physical also with uh, Puka. And then I like Zay as like a gadget guy, a guy that is super like, he's like Amon Ra if Amon Ra took a bunch of pre-workout. Mm. You know? Zay? He's kind of, yeah. Yeah, he's got Twitch. He's just... I want Puka, Tank Dell, and Zay Flowers. 
Tank was, yeah. The hard part for me with Tank because is then like you kind of get a little bit of everything. Yeah, Tank was on the pace to probably consistently be in this list, but then he gets injured, and so we've been able to see a larger sample size with Zay and Rasheed. I also don't think you're seeing enough from Zay. Like I think what no, Zay, Zay's ceiling you. is definitely a lot not. higher than what we yeah, see. Yeah, 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 definitely not. Just it's Puka. So Puka's I'll, that big physical guy. Tank Dell's that burn you deep guy, and Zay's like a gr- a stud slot guy. I feel like you're just, I could see that you're hitting it all levels. I like with that. Those. Zay's yeah, I like ceiling that. is like Stefan Diggs, you know, just not as big. That's the problem. Uh, but he can Stephon's run around. Not huge. No, he's Antonio Brown, bro. First off the board. I will say though, he's got at, more twitch than that. A- that is unfortunate. Is that Jaden Reed's gonna get no love? I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't. Wanna, I love Jaden. I, I, I'll preface with saying that like I. I haven't watched Jaden Reed at all. I know there's been a lot of hype with him. I haven't watched him at all. So I, I don't I can't really speak on him. He Jayden didn't really Reed. do that much. I know he's been well. well. I know he's been playing well. I mean, Jaden Reed, if we want to talk out of tank, I mean, granted, tank was hurt, but like Jay, if it's Jaden Reed or Zay Flowers, Jaden Reed's done more. I just think Zay's the bigger name and more hype, especially this year. So well, I, I'm gonna pick Zay because I think he has a, a higher ceiling right he's now. Cool. Even though and he's that's 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 my guy. But I, I think it's an interesting one. Yeah, so, well, so what's your final what's your final three? Do you know? Uh, out of those? Out of those. So you're taking Puka, no matter what. Yeah, I think I'll take Puka. I'm gonna go. Ooh, it's tough. I'll probably go Puka. Rashi. Texas. And Are there more than one who and any- Zay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I it's yeah, I'll probably That's probably do what that. I'm doing as well. Or Zay and Tank would be interchangeable for me, but because Tank could be a deep ball threat. But isn't it crazy how at the beginning of the season we were here joking about the name Puka Nakua, and now all of a sudden he's like the top, he's a top ten yeah. wide receiver. He's <laughs> like, just so physical, arguably. Yeah, yeah. I saw like, like he's so fucking good. <laughs> all right, well, I'm, I, that that's a good one. I, a lot of these comments were were very similar, but um, I saw a video on like I guess the what the Rams do as like an organization and how they they frame you know their draft process, and mm-hmm. I guess. Like, the raw score for Puka, I think, was so much higher than how he tested. And, yeah. like, therefore, that's how they can hit on a Kyron Williams. That could have, that's how they hit on a Puka Nakua. So many of these guys. It goes to yeah. show, like, again, we talked about it on Monday's episode. It's, like, when you have good coaching and they understand scouting and whatnot, like, you're going to be able to find those diamonds in the roughs. And that's what the Rams have been able to do. Yep. It's crazy looking back because Puka is such a physical guy. Yeah. And what he's able to do. So, yeah. yeah. Do you have another I mean, game? I do have one more game, yeah. Give it to me. So, this one was really hard for me. This game definitely took my brain uh, some some power that I did not think existed this morning. Brain power. Um, but I power ranked brain the blast. players left in the playoffs. The players left in the playoffs. All, right. All the players? I like that. I like any position. Those. Any position. Nice. Top 15. Hell and yeah. I have honorable mentions. Bingo. This was really hard. Defense? Offensive Defense, line? Defense, offensive line, skill players, Ooh. everyone. So okay. this is tough. I like that. To me, there was so a what, consensus like four, and then this is where then I really struggled to like to to label them. So you want me to go fifteen to one? You want me to go one to fifteen? We, can we I, guess a few off the like the top guys? Patrick Mahomes has to be number one. Mahomes was one, obviously. Let's give other guesses. It's not that hot take. I mean, the other quarterback is going to be Josh Allen. Oh, Josh Allen's out now. Players right. literally left in the playoffs. There's only four teams. Lamar Jackson too. Lam- Lamar, Lamar was two for me. Yeah. It's just like what he's able to do, and the quarterbacks are most important. Well, so that was one and two. Um, um, the teams the Chiefs, are the Ravens four teams: Chiefs, Niners. Ravens, Niners, oh, Lions. Oh, okay. Uh, Christian McCaffrey. Christian be McCaffrey. Three I had him. Four. I had him at six. Nah, that's mm. low. Uh, Nick Bosa has got to be three or four. Nick Bosa was four for me. Okay. You want me to uh, 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 Trent Williams. Trent Williams was three. Be three. That's a good yeah. take. Okay, Trent was three. So okay. You'll, McCaffrey you'll, six. McCaffrey so we're missing six. five right now. You're missing five. Uh, five. I would. No, you're gonna have to think a little bit. Younger guy. Hmm. Uh, Patrick Queen? Nope. Roquan Smith. Graded higher than... Fucking, fucking uh, Fred Warner? Nope. I mean, these guys are on my list. I'll tell you that. But oh, we're going to try and get five. Top five is this guy is graded higher oh. on PFF than Trent Williams. And he played 500 more snaps. He's an offensive lineman? He's an offensive lineman. Oh, boy. Super know. young. Wish the Dolphins drafted oh, oh, him. Oh, oh, oh. Panay Sewell. Panay Sewell, yeah. Pana, yeah, whatever. Panay Sewell. Panay Sewell, I put him at five. Higher, higher, graded higher. Yeah, played five hundred awesome more snaps. Year. He's the the bedrock of that that Lions front. I again, we give a lot of credit to offensive tackles. We give I'll a lot of credit Panay to Trent Williams. I think Panay or Panay, whatever it is, penis. For what I he, think it's penis. Panay. It I might think, be Panay because it's E I. I think it's Panay. Yeah, Panay Sewell. I've heard, I've heard them. Say I've heard Panay. both. I'll Panay, be honest. but I always feel like they say Panay Sewell so fast that it sounds like Panay Sewell. Uh, you know? No, it's definitely not that. I'm not I know, I know, I know. You, but you have Fred Warner way too low. Fred should be top three, probably. Where's I think Fred? he should probably Hold be on. third. Okay. 
I, right, I, right. Again, if Trent's going to be up there... So, did we get your top five? Then Panay has to be there, in my opinion. Did because we get Fred is five? better. Fred, Fred is the best player in his position. Panay's not the best player in his position. Uh, uh, I think Trent Williams is the best tackle in the game, but according to PFF, Panay was the best left quarterback, the best right defense. tackle, the best tackle in the game this year. So that's where I was going to have Panay lower, and I just thought he's amazing. I'm we got to give. I got to give a lot Fred's of credit. Been, Fred's been the best linebacker in the league for more. I get it. Years. I, Fred should be okay. Either he should be. So you want it? So I had CMC six, right? I had CMC after Panay Sewell. Then I had Fred Warner at seven. Okay. Again, very hard for me. That's hard. I agree with you. Fred Warner probably best linebacker in football. Very, very the Niners tough. have so many guys in your yeah. top 10. No, this is a top 15 list. I know, but I'm just saying, like, even uh, who, 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 who's the lines? Okay, uh, Amon Ra is going to be on this list somewhere. Do you want to try and keep going in order? Or yeah, I kind of all right, so keep going. Oh, I'm just kind of throwing out names. all right. So, Fred Warner was seven. Who do you think was eight? Well, Amon Ra, I think, is going to be like 14 or 15. Yeah, if I agree. he's on there. I who agree. do you think was number eight? Who do I think is number eight? All right, hold on, think, hold, think, on think. hold on. You got Travis a, Kelsey. Travis was still, Kelsey was number eight. There we go. I just that's it, not it, bad. even yeah, though he's he been bad, he has he's had a bad still, year. Still that dude. I can't discredit what he's been able to do. Where's Andy Reid? <laughs> number nine, number nine. Who do you think this is? Hold Don't on, forget about it. Chris Jones. Chris Jones, Whoa. number nine. Yeah, for sure. Come on now, that's come nice. on now. All right, number ten. Uh, I'm. You gotta you, have. You know exactly who this person is. I'm gonna snap. You're gonna get it. Ready? Kyle Hamilton. No, that's not how it yes, works. yes, yes. You trust me. Just Kyle watch Hamilton. my eyes. Roquan Look Smith. My, bang. How do I know? How do I know? Come on. Roquan Smith, number 10 for me. I'm not going to lie. You probably need Creed Humphrey on I list. think. Okay. So, yeah. Sure. Oh I kept, I kept Creed dog. off who, oh, because Frank Ragnow is, who's the center for the Lions, has been graded better this year. By PFF. Older, though. Creed's Older, younger. Yeah. But I do agree. Okay. I had, I'll say this. I had Creed and Frank in my honorable mentions. Nice. Solely because I'm a. Oh, so Frank didn't make it either. Frank didn't make it either. Got because it. I, I, if I kept Creed off, I wanted to keep, keep Frank off. Frank Michael Smith. And just what they're able to do at the position. And also, you. Connor Williams was the number two graded center. So, mm. should have put Connor Williams in there if mm. I was going to put Creed Humphrey. You know what okay. I'm saying? Even though the, my, there's no Dolphins in the playoffs left. So, I kept those centers <laughs> off. Um, but, yeah, that, that's you how it is. Humphrey's in Dolphins somehow. Yeah, no, of course. Because we're uh, the best. They have right. the Dolphins. So, that's my, that's, we got the top 10, right? Now you need 11 through 15. You're doing good. Roquan was number 10, though. Um, Amon Ra's got to be there somewhere. Like Amon I, Ra? Yeah, he's got to be. He's, he's number next. 11. Let's go. Nice. Uh, Adam loves Amon Ra. I love yeah, Amon Ra. That's my guy. I All love right. Amon Ra. He's been amazing this, this year. This player probably deserves to be there. Just this Kyle player. Hamilton on good your list? Kyle Hamilton's not on my list. He should be honorable. Marlon list. Humphrey? Awful. Just based off of how good Marlon's this guy been is, hurt. Chase Young should be no. on this list. Nope, you're forgetting about one. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. All right, ready? Here, we're going to play this game again. Snap. I'm going to snap on I'm going to snap on three, and you're going to get it. Ready? One. Two, three. Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson! How? <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> how did you Come do on. that? I think, I think Chase Young is better than Hutchinson. No, I Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden More sacks this year. Dog. He's yeah, been yeah, one of the yeah, highest yeah. graded. Dude, are you a fucking... A that was crazy. Are you a mentalist? Yes, like, oh I'm, my I'm, God. I'm Oz. <laughs> oh my I'm God. fucking Oz. That was crazy. <laughs> that was Holy sick. Shit. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> so <laughs> funny, bro. Oh my oh, God! On. Aiden's been unreal this yeah, year. Yeah, he's, he's nice. Nah, I'm trying to think. So much like, better than okay, I he would Kittle. Be. Okay, do Debo? you want to keep going? Debo? Okay, no. Debo's 13 for me. So Just what he's been able to do from a versat versatility, versatility standpoint. Debo, don't 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 sleep on these 14, 13, 14, 15. It ain't that hard. Kittle, Ayuk, Kittle, Ayuk. 14 is Ayuk. I think if you give Ayuk the actual wide receiver one ability in terms of on like you put him on another team. That dude's going crazy. And so, then Kittle? And then Kittle's 15. Just another blocker. Again, a lot of these guys can be interchangeable. Some of my yeah. honorable mentions, I had... My honorable mentions were Mark Andrews, oh, yeah. Frank Ragnow, Creed Humphrey, Laporta, who's been amazing this year. Yeah. Javon Hargrave. I thought of Javon Hargrave. I also thought about Dre Greenlaw. Yeah. I had Pacheco in my honorable mention as well, just because how well he's played this year. He's played well. Some other guys in my honorable mentions. Mar Marlon Humphrey's got to be there. I, would, I was going to say Marlon, but he's just been hurt, bro. I get it. It's, it's, so it's really hard to. Honorable mention, he's got to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Patrick Queen, another honorable yeah. mention for me. Um, yeah. And then the others, like Jameer Gibbs. Andrews. Jam but Jameer's he just say, young. He was his first guy. Who? Mark Andrews? Yeah, Mark Andrews That's was first, first honorable, honorable mention. mention. All right, so how'd I do? How'd I do? Great. I Can think you read it, the whole list? Yeah, so my top 15, and then you'll say, is yes. Mahomes 1, 2 Lamar, 3 Trent Williams, 4 Nick Bosa, 5 Panay Sewell, 6 CMC, 7 Fred Warner, 8 Kelsey, 9, Chris Jones, 10, Roquan Smith, 11, Amon Ra, 12, Aiden Hutchinson, 13, Debo, 14, Ayuk, 15, George Kittle. Yeah. A couple things. Fred, too low. 
I, uh, that's fair. I agree. I agree. Well, you yeah. would I, the most I'd probably go is Fred over CMC only because I got to give love to left tackles and right tackles. I get it. I, I think, think Fred has been better than Panay Sewell, even though Sewell's been great. I think it's just Fred younger. Is better, and he's been better for long. I, would put, I would put him over Panay Sewell, and I would put CMC over Panay Sewell because the running back is more valuable. No. I disagree with that. I totally disagree with that. Okay. I think a lineman's more valuable. Bro, tackles more we valuable. have have had so many conversations you're over right, like you're tackles right, you're being right, you're right. MVP. I think, but I, the I reason think Christian I, McCaffrey is more valuable. How's that? I agree with that. And I, I think CMC has done it longer also. And yeah. I don't think the Lions are this far in the playoffs if it ain't for Panay Sewell. That's he's just true. He's just not as sexy. That's probably true. Again, mm-hmm. if we're going to put Trent in okay, there. Okay, the second thing is I think. That's an important one, though. If Trent's in there. Because of what he's been able to do, then Panay has to be because he's been better and he's played no, 500 no, no. more Trent's snaps. In there, but, well, for my, my reason, Trent's been in there because he's been great for so many years. So I get that, McCaffrey, but since Panay's so come Fred into Warner. the league, he's been great. Yeah, but it's only been a couple of years. That's my point. I can't take it away from him. You can't, but the other guys have been just as good for longer. I, anyway, that's fair. I, that's, I, fair. I, that's fine. That's Again, fine. well, like I said, been top my top five wide receiver the last like fucking two years. Like I said, my top, top four. I get it. I my like top Panay. four was easiest. Like Mahomes, Lamar, yeah. Trent Williams, Nick Bosa. And then from like five down to 12. Yeah. Was the hardest. Yeah, I me. think Fred could even go ahead yeah. of, of of Bosa, but I mean, at that that's fine. I understand why you have those guys ahead of him. And then the second thing, I think Hutch is a bit too high, and I think Debo at twelve. I got, I got other guys ahead of Debo. Who would you put instead of Debo or Hutch? First of all, Aiden Hutchinson's like he's, he's unreal. Bro. He's been good. He's he, had sacks. In the playoffs he's been too. He, amazing. In the playoffs. He has the most the sacks in the playoffs. Games, he's had eight sacks. I saw in his last that's four true. games. The last he had four eight games, sacks. he's had eight. Yeah, that's what I saw on Twitter. I mean, he's been unreal. That's insane. He's been unreal. Yeah. Um, who would I have ahead of him? I'd probably have, I'd probably have guys like, uh, like Marlon Humphrey. That's fair. Again, guys who have done it longer and been better. It's just the longer. injuries that, that scared me with Marlon. Um, I'd also think even Patrick Queen. I thought Pat, Patrick Queen was an honorable mention for me. Mm-hmm. I thought also Creed Humphrey and Creed Frank, Humphrey. Rag, Frank, Frank Rag now as like, if we're going to, that to me makes more sense over some of the Debo IU Kittle. I want Debo in there for versatility. I don't think Ayuk's in that list. I'm not going to Ayuk lie. would be a questionable one. Ayuk would be like, that's where I had the hardest. I'm just a sucker for Brandon Ayuk's route running. I get yeah. it. I love Brandon Ayuk. He's, yeah. But again, it's close. Like, I also think you can make arguments for Dre. You can make arguments, like I said, for your two centers. You can I make an like, argument for Mark Andrews. Yeah, I, I think Mark Andrews is... You can make an argument for I'll Patrick Queen over, and I'll Marlon Humphrey. i over Debo, probably. That's Mark fair. Andrews? Yeah. I'm going to take Debo over Mark, but just only because with Isaiah Likely in there now, he's I, been just as good. I, I think Mark's amazing, but like it doesn't feel like they've missed that much of a beat from that position. Now, if you have Likely and Mark Andrews, it's deadly, but I like Isaiah Likely a lot. I like his athleticism. That's a good list. It's a good list, right? I did uh-huh. good. Hey, shout out being a mentalist, though. That's hey. me. That was crazy. That was crazy. I can't believe that worked. Because I, I just knew where his brain was. Uh-huh. You, you know, knew it was going to happen. Him and I literally, our brains sleep together. So yeah. that's, that's, sleep, my yeah, that, that's my list. Yeah, that's my list. Underrated player, honorable mention, Jadavian Clowney. Yeah. Good point. He had a good Didn't year. even think about he's Jadavian. Had he's had year. a really good year. Didn't even think about it. Mm. Mm. Well, that's all the games we I got, I really like that game, though. I, I, I love ranking players. It's hard. There are a lot of good players that's in the playoffs. But I think a lot of people... It's, I Javon think Javon Hargrave. Javon, Javon Hargrave, I'd put over Debo and Kittle. That's fair. I, I don't, again, no qualms with Even like. Even Dre Greenlaw, probably. Dre, the Niners are so stacked. They are. Stacked. How many Niners were on that list of 15? Um, one, two. Seven. Low key, even Charvarius Ward, bro. I thought Charvarius, but I also thought <laughs> yeah. had a crazy year. Like they, yeah, there were some guys. There were definitely some guys. <laughs> Nike, this list is the Niners plus a couple Everyone other guys. Else, yeah, plus like Mahomes. Seven I also thought Niners like I also thought Kyle Hamilton, but he was he's hasn't been great. Like in terms, he's been great. great I, I was looking year. at some of his grades. He was but all like, pro. Yeah. His uh, I think it was like his his run defense wasn't as good or something. I forgot when I was just like trying to double. I was trying to double check my my my. Uh, my plums. This was a plum you. list. We also can't overreact to PFF. No, no, no. PFF was you. I was using PFF as a, as a uh, guide. No, no, no. As a uh, validation type. Sure. You know, user. You I was would like, rank himself, himself, and then be like, okay, actually, how? like I made, I made this this big list of just like yeah, people yeah. I thought, and then I was like, when I was trying to decide, so I was gonna have Penesu a lot lower, and then I just wanted to check, and the fact that he was higher than Trent Williams and had played five hundred more snaps, health. Younger, I, if I'm gonna give love to a left tackle, I want to give love to a right, ta- right tackle. So that was my list. Nice, it's fun. It's hard, man. It's That's hard. all the games you got. No kids. love to Jared Goff. No, 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 no. Good. No, Good. not out of any of those people there. 
Frankly, if I if yeah, I had to put Jared Goff Jared on this list, one of the last I'm having Mark Andrews over him. I'm having Frank nah, Creed, Laporta, him. Pacheco, yeah, uh, I mean, Patrick Queen, Marlon Humphrey. I'm having yeah. No, it's Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes the worst. I'm having a lot of people else. over him. Yeah, God, but the linebackers. Man. Hey, shout out defense though. Did you? Is there anybody on your list you haven't named as honorable mentions or like did you name all? No, I, I mean I'm, I'm, unless I'm missing. I mean I had like. Super far down, I had a what about like CJ Gardner Johnson. I mm. thought about it, but I even liked the potential of the Zays and the Rasheed Rice. I had them super low. They just haven't been. She's definitely not there. Super, uh, super low. Travis also, yeah, I, I think he could be a little bit. Lower I made a too. list of five honorable He's mentions. Quite a bit this year. Yeah, Luke? but same Travis same reason yeah. you would put Trent three. Well, Trent hasn't regressed. No, but Trent but. never regressed. But again, I, I I only picked five honorable mentions because if I just put all these guys as honorable mentions, so those five honorable mentions, I got to give love to the centers. Respect, man. Shout out Creed Humphrey, man. I think he belongs <laughs> in the top 15. Shout out shout out the good teams always drafting good offensive linemen and just knowing how to use fucking personnel, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The bad yeah. team just fucking up all the mm-hmm. time. True. Shout out True. the Dolphins trading up to get <laughs> Liam Eichenberg and uh, not, it's crazy, not drafting bro. Creed Humphrey, bro. All right, well. Chris uh, Jones could be higher, too. That's another Thought thing. about it. Thought yeah. about it. Again, yeah. Wait, one through four. Jones, you had Chris Jones behind Kelsey. I'd put him ahead of Kelsey this year. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I had Chris Jones at nine. I had Kelsey at eight. So that I'll put Tony Gonzalez on that list too. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for Good sure. Take. Like I said, one through Small four Charles easy. Probably. One through four was easy. <laughs> Five through twelve was. Hey, hard, so. let us know if we missed anybody. Let we us know. Did. Comment. No, comment let us know where I went our, wrong. Shit. Definitely, you went wrong. I went wrong. All right. Well, that's all the games. That's all the time we have. This has been beautiful, boys. It's been a fun episode. I this was a quick one. Do we want to talk about anything else? No. I want to wrap up. No, but you, we, you I got to go, bro. I got some shit I got to do. You have 16 minutes. Yeah, but you have minutes. one minute, though. You have five. All right. Uh, one I, minute of Adam. You have 16 minutes. Coming Obviously, up with an no, idea. But I don't. I'd rather wrap up so I can have some time to prepare, please. Sure. Thanks for listening to the Caps Off podcast. That's all Been the games a real we one. have. Sorry, I tried, guys. Well, <laughs> what, 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 that's all we have nah, That's all we got. That's literally all we have Thanks prepared. Thanks for sticking around, listening to our one We got predictions voices. coming Friday, so stay tuned. Also, don't forget... Super Bowl Media Week. We're going to be at Circus Sportsbook in Las Vegas. If you're going to be in Vegas, please hit us up. Shoot us a DM. You can follow our personals. DM us. Get in the Is comments. There? All those things. Um, but uh, we'll be on the ground at Super Bowl Media Week. So we will. And Matan we'll wanted to me to tell you guys that he does no longer fuck with any of you guys, and that's why he's cutting the episode short. Just wanted. That's not true. He just texted or me. what I said. He just texted me. I simply have a meeting in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but thank you guys for listening. You guys are the best. We'll be on the ground at Super Bowl. If you want to get any questions into any of the players, DM us, uh, comment on our TikTok, on our YouTube, wherever that might be. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the person who comments that Adam is ugly the most times will get a shout out for me on the podcast. I like well, that. I guess I'm doing that the most. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great. Thank hey, you for listening. Don't sleep. The Caps Off Podcast. Love you. Goodbye. Bye. Where did I go wrong in that power ranking list? Make sure to let us know in the comments. Also, please subscribe. Subscribe. It, it ha- subscribe. Subscribe. Yep. There it is. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. Thank you.